All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to export your finished project uh, so that it can be either 3D printed or laser engraved. Um, this video will show you how to do that and where to put it. Now, before you can export your project to a file on the computer so that I can access it and print it for you, you're going to have to set up your Google Chrome settings to ask where you want it downloaded. So what you're going to do, come up here where the three little dots are, click and choose settings. Over here to the left, click advanced and click downloads. Make sure that this says ask where to save each file before downloading. That should be blue or whatever color you have, but the slider needs to be the right to activate that. We don't want it downloading it somewhere and not knowing where it goes. We want them to ask where we want to download it. If that is set, then you should be good to go. So to export this file, this is part one. Um, if I highlight it, you can see it's highlighted part one. Uh, another way to know, you know, if you have multiple ones, you can click on the eyeball and hide it. And that way, you know, this is part one. So this is what I want to export. I'm going to right click on part one and choose export. I would like all students to type first and last name. Period, the name of the file, Domino. Okay, it's going to be STL. All this can stay the way it is. Uh, and we want it to make sure that it downloads. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, because my Chrome browser was set up, it's going to ask where I want it downloaded. So here we go. And it is uh, giving me options on where to put it. We're going to click this PC. And down below, you will see where it says GTT1 G Drive. Click on that. Uh, by the way, this only works on Great Oaks computers. You cannot do this on a Chromebook. And you will see there I have STEM batch folders. This is where you put your works so that I can print it off for you. So let's double click on that. All right. And I will have folders. Um, this is 3D prints. I've got a magnet ornament. Uh, the one that you're going to see, and I'll just go ahead and make it now so you can see it, is the domino folder. In the domino folder, I will have folders for each bell. So I'm going to have a bell one, and there'll also be a bell seven in there. I'll go ahead and make those now. So choose your bell. Let's say your bell one. Okay. In here, I will have folders. I will have a folder called batch one, and it will say, four files maximum. Okay. What that means is when you go to save your file in this batch folder, if there's already four files in here, which is other students have put their work in here, then you will have to go back to a different batch folder. Okay. Uh, batch one is for, is like first come first serve. The first four will go in there. I'll have a batch two. There'll be four in this one. So you just have to click through them until you find one that isn't full, and then you can put yours in there. Um, and then just save it. Okay. Then just tell me that you have it uh, saved in a batch folder, and then I can print it from there. All right. Hope that helped.